There are many components that make up House Bill 65. Some include creating a vaping education program in schools, along with increasing the consequences of both underage vaping and selling vape products to minors. Vape shop owner Dylan Gilbert says he has no problem with that. We've been here for almost 10 years, and before there were even laws on the books for selling to underage kids, you know, there was no vape law that said you can't sell to vape products to 19-year-old kids for the longest time. We enforced that just to maintain parity with tobacco products. What he's not in favor of? Part of the bill that would give about $2.5 million so the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency and ABC Board could enforce our state's vape registry. As Representative Barbara Drummond explains, it took effect years ago but isn't being enforced. Alabama passed a free market registry for those companies that are FDA approved to put what products that they're selling in Alabama. And we have a lot of bad stuff out there that cannot get FDA approved that's on our streets in our convenience stores that are being sold. Gilbert argues, though, citing the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, which criticized the way the Food and Drug Administration decides what's approved and what's not. It's a strategic move by big tobacco companies. They know that the PMTA process, the process the FDA uses to decide whether or not a product is allowed to be on the market, is under scrutiny by the Supreme Court and other federal circuit courts. They know that the process could potentially be thrown out soon, so they want to get a law on the books that will force all vape shops like ours to close, and even if the process gets thrown out by the Supreme Court or other federal courts, that because all the vape shops have closed, all their competition is closed, they'll still have a monopoly regardless. Drummond, though, is adamant. She believes investing in the enforcement of this registry could stop minors from getting their hands on a vape. Well, I think that it's a good start to send not only the message, but also to show the message that we in Alabama are serious about safeguarding our kids against vaping. Reporting in Birmingham, Emma Owen, WVTM 13.